Good morning, guys. Hope everybody is doing well. <clears throat> it is when Thursday. It is Thursday morning, bright and early. And this is our second day. Hold on. Morning show. Ha! I like the way that sounds. <laughs> Uh, today is Thursday. It is the second day of um, the Fearless Morning Show. And our topic today is um, know your um, is to know your fears, know your triggers. And I have my co-host, Miss Lynn Demon. So I'm waiting for her to join on. And our topic said we're going to be talking about um, uh, your triggers triggers and what they are and so we're going to give you good 10-15 minutes of your morning to get started and so you are ready to go good morning Lynn good morning good morning guys welcome to the fearless morning show where we're <laughs> don't you like how that sounds I love that yes yes I am <laughs> so totally dedicated to this conversation this morning as you all may be able to tell I am outside of my dental office running yes we are dedicated to be here this morning to talk to you um, about your triggers, knowing your triggers. Yes. One of the things I uh, wanted to share, I'm just going to jump right in, JoJo, if yes. that's okay. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so one of the things that um, I really wanted to share with you is just to know your triggers and stop lying to yourself. And, and what do you mean by that, Lynn? I'm not lying to myself. Well, I just want to share with you a, a personal story for me. Um, one of the things that I lied to myself about was the fact that I didn't want children. For years and years, um, I'm, my husband and I, we've been married, and he, never, he didn't want kids. And so I bought into this idea, hey, I don't want kids either, right? right? Even though I was a teacher, I taught 150 kids every year, and those kids called me mama. I was even <laughs> over the step team. Kids were always around <laughs> me at all times. But I continued to tell myself that lie because that was also what my husband wanted. And right. it wasn't until we were married. I, we were married almost 15 years, guys, before wow. we had our son, Malachi. And it wasn't until I had Malachi that I said, wow, this is awesome. <laughs> I, I love being a mom. Right, right. I really been lying. And, and to have a son? This, I mean, this is amazing. So I, I recognize the fact that, and I own the fact that, dang it, I've been lying to myself this entire time. And if I've been lying to myself about this, what else have I been lying to myself about? Have I been lying to myself when I go into Macy's and say, oh, I deserve these shoes? Right, right. Because I call it every day, right? Not to say that, you know, those things are not, we shouldn't reward ourselves. Absolutely, we should. But just trying to figure out what your triggers are for you yeah. that cause you to do things that do not make you the priority. I think right. that's the number one thing that you need to walk with, with today, right? Once you right. acknowledge what those things are that you are personally doing, it's called self-sabotage. How are you self-sabotaging? And what are those things that you are personally doing that are not allowing you to make yourself a priority? That's right. Once you make that step to make yourself a priority, it makes fear seem less and this is the fearless yeah. morning show that's right right <laughs> that's <laughs> right i love Fear that <laughs> less. so that's that false evidence appearing real to us i mm -hmm. made that false evidence of the fact that i didn't want a child seem real to myself mm. right right, there are right. Some other things that were embedded within that that I, I don't have time to go into this morning but the number one takeaway that i want to share with you is make you a priority Stop yes. putting Ed, what everyone else wants in, in front of you. See, this is the greatest lie that's been told to us. And one of the things that I love, Lisa Nichols always shares this. Um, how can you pour from an empty cup? Right? That's right. That's and if right. you're empty, you're empty because you haven't made yourself a priority. Once you that's learn true. to make yourself a priority, then you're able to give to others in the way that you need to then i'm able to be the mom that i need to be then i'm able to be the wife that i need to be because i can now give from a different place so i yes, think that is very important as we start on this day we think through our mornings what are those triggers for you 
What are those mm -hmm. things that you have possibly been lying to yourself about? Whether right. that's in your finances, in your health. I lie to it myself is. a lot about my health. Oh, girl, I'm going to lose these five pounds of holiday. <laughs> yes. Right? I tell myself this over and over and over, and then I don't go and do it. So I, right. I'm making me a priority now, right? Mm -hmm. I'm making me a priority. And I'm, I'm, you can see, let me see. I don't know if you can see these. <laughs> They're a little bit tight today. Yeah. <laughs> it's and all I, right, girl. We understand. That, so I have to, you know, I have to make me a priority because it's not in my budget to buy some more pants right now. That's so I have right. To make that a priority, not just for pants, not just for my finances, but for my health. And my health is one of the most important things to me. If I don't have health, then none of this matters. And I apologize, JoJo. I went all the way off to it this morning. <laughs> that <laughs> is okay. That's the way it was supposed to go this morning. That is fine. In fact, the end game is this. Make you a priority. Make you a priority in your life, in your finances, in your health and well-being, in everything that you do. And remember, uh, if you follow me anywhere at Demons Enterprise, it's, I'm Lynn Demons. I, I'm sorry, guys, I forgot to in, even introduce myself to the conversation this I morning. I did that already for you. Uh, I did that, yes. <laughs> thank, thank you. I just got in and got going. So I, I um, definitely appreciate you understanding and uh, continuing to join us as we move forward in this Fearless Morning Show. Okay, back to you, JoJo. Thank you, Lynn. So this is our second day of the Fearless Morning Show. And me and Lynn are so excited. Like she said, she's so dedicated. She is doing this live from the dentist parking lot. So we yeah. are truly, yeah. as you can see, that's the dentist. We're truly only going to take a few minutes of your time every morning just to get the information you need so that you can start your day fearless. So uh, Lynn made some valid points where you, we, we don't have to lie to ourselves. We just don't. But you do have to know what your triggers are. And so um, today, as far as, you know, Lynn was very transparent about her triggers and wanting to be a mother and how that played in um, the rest of her life. And one of the triggers for me as a survivor, and then eventually I stopped using the word survivor because, you know, I'm no longer attached to that. But one of my triggers definitely is loud noises. I absolutely hate loud noises. My children know <laughs> you cannot bang a door. You cannot shut a door. You can't do any of that. And I have not already know what you're about to do. Because I'm going to come running with a baseball bat thinking somebody's trying to hurt you. So I think what's important is you once you know your triggers, you're able to work around them. And like Lynn said, make yourself a priority. So when you start to work around your triggers, you actually take the power away from those triggers. So if it's the fear of loud noises, if it's the fear of starting your finances over again, if it's the fear of sitting down to look at your life and your finances, because together it's overwhelming, separate, you can handle it. And that's one of the things that me and Lynn do to, well together is we help you handle those things separately, even though they are together so that it is not overwhelming for you. Um, because you, here's the thing, guys, we can give you all the information in the world, but you have to apply it. Number one. Number two, mm -hmm. it's not, it may not necessarily be fun or easy. And, you know, some people may make it seem like, oh, it's so easy. It may take you sitting down and being quiet and being real and honest with yourself. Like Lynn said yeah. earlier, you know, stop lying to yourself to realize what your triggers are in any aspect of your life. And then once you let go of that fear, it becomes yeah. left, right, Lynn? <laughs> so, so, JoJo, can I just interrupt for yes. one moment? Because you yep. said something that, that is very profound. One of the mm -hmm. things that we do is we get all of this information, but we don't take action on it. Right. And that's what we are here to help you do. Take action right. on these things because it's one thing to get all this information, but the next step is to take the action and to move forward on those that's things. Right. So that's how right. do you move forward? I think is one of the most important pieces that we'll also be talking about as we move uh, through the uh, Fearless Morning Show. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the best light. <laughs> you have the um, best light right there. <laughs> Right here? Okay, yeah. okay. I'm just trying to get to the best light so that I can say that is going to be key for you moving forward. Yes. I'm sorry, JoJo, but that was a profound yeah. moment. That was a teachable moment right there, and I have Thank to stop you. for just a second, if you don't mind. Um, <laughs> no problem. But back to you. 
you know, I, I was going to say that uh, that's actually all the points that we want to make for today. Like we said, we want to give you some short, quick nuggets for today. So for today, Liam, what is one action step you want people to take in their finances to be fearless? I think the number one thing that you should do is to stop and actually think about those areas that you're lying to yourself and write yeah. it down so yes. that you can acknowledge where those things are in your life that could possibly be barriers or roadblocks right. or potential uh, triggers for you in your life. Once you have those things written down, then you know where to take action. But until That's you true. recognize and acknowledge the fact that you've been lying, possibly lying to yourself about it, maybe yes. lying may be a strong word for you and you're not ready for that, but a lie is a lie no matter who tell it, right? So That's right. Sure <laughs> acknowledge those facts and then you can be able to move begin to move forward that's that is very true i think for the be fearless in your life we're going to take that journaling aspect um, for today you know knowing your trigger but i encourage you not only when you start to realize what your trigger is you know to write it down and then tomorrow i want you to be able to tell us what's one thing different you did to get outside of that trigger. You know, if it's finances, if it's your loud noise, whatever that loud noise may be, you can apply that to any aspect of your life. What are you gonna do different tomorrow to make that trigger fearless for you? So um, I Great. think that is it for today for the Fearless Morning Show. Um, me and Lynn will be back tomorrow for a freebie Friday. I'm sure we will have some great information. Uh, and you can check out, uh, Lynn, you wanna tell everybody where to find you? Absolutely. You can find me on Facebook at Demons Enterprise, but you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at Demons Speak. And my website, of course, is DemonsEnterprise.com. And you, you, so can find, uh, you can find me on um, Facebook and it's Be Fearless Incorporated. Uh, Instagram, it is my name and Twitter is my name. It's Jan Mitra. So it is in the title of this video, so you can find and follow us there. And we do have an event coming up in February, February 2nd through the 3rd, and it will be in the Atlanta area. And it's Love Your Life, Love Your Finances Conference. And as the month goes on, me and Lynn will be giving you more juicy information about that and how you can get your tickets. And if you want to go to either one of our websites, is it on your website yet, Lynn? It will um, be it's on Eventbrite. It's on Eventbrite, and we'll post that link down below so that you can get your tickets uh, and invite your girlfriend. You can make it a great girlfriend getaway, if you like, where you both are facing your, uh, your fears so you can be fearless and get started uh, on your day. All right, guys, you guys have a great day. It is 727. We made it in 15 minutes, like we said. <laughs> So uh, we will talk to you guys tomorrow morning for Freebie Friday. And then if you have any suggestions of what you would like to have for Freebie Friday, I'm sure we will be open to any suggestions and ideas for that. So we make sure that we are servicing you. All right, guys, got to go. I got to go pay this late fee. <laughs> have a good day, guys. Bye.